I literally don't think of anything as a no. Um, everything is possible. My name is Glenn Derry. I was the virtual production supervisor on Avatar and uh, Real Steel, and I own a company called Technoprops in Valencia, California. The virtual camera system was designed primarily to make this very clinical CG process as tangible and as uh, direct for the director as possible. And he's not necessarily going to be able to sit behind a Maya machine and animate everything that's going on himself, but we could give him a tool that allowed him to interact with these CG elements just like he would as if, you know, as if he were directing a live action picture. For me, I'm very interested in uh, character and performance. How do you take an actor's performance, how do you take something that's happening in that moment, capture that and let that you know, relate to an audience in a very meaningful way and not have it look dead and not have it look fake. Having said that, you know, performance can come from anywhere. It can be, you know, a guy animating, you know, if you look at Pixar's work, it's just absolutely spectacular. Um, some of the stuff we got into uh, on Avatar was more about unifying sort of uh, an animator's performance. And in this case, we would take, you know, Zoe or Sam and actually take their performance and use it to build a unified character. Uh, Jim was very intent on having a hands-on, very homemade feel. The interesting thing for me is the the price point, the technology behind this stuff has come way down. I mean, you can now get you know these these same very sophisticated systems. We were you know were hundreds and hundreds and millions of dollars really to put together. You can now put together something like this yourself, you know, on a, on a really modest budget and and start using some of the same techniques. What's more interesting to me personally is that the technique gets out there and that people are able to go, hey, it's cool. I don't have to be an animator to, 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 to get my point across as a filmmaker. For our homebrew uh, virtual camera system, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same type of uh, optical motion capture, retroflective optical motion capture, but we're gonna scale it down to something that's, that's much smaller, a little tiny, maybe 10 foot by 10 foot square. We're gonna use a company called OptiTrack. They've got a, a pretty uh, robust tool set for the, for the price point. Uh, the idea is I'm capturing this group of markers in space, and I'm gonna basically put a camera lens, a virtual camera lens, where that optical markers, where those optical markers are in space, so that it allows me to move around in space with my hands. I can I can walk around and have a physicality with this with this lens as though I were carrying a camera. We're going to couple that with an, an off-the-shelf, uh, relatively inexpensive little monitor that you can buy called a Wacom tablet. That's that's pretty light. The whole point of this is it needs to be light enough that it feels like a camera. So we're gonna we're basically just going to take those markers, stick it on top of a monitor, capture that in space, and voila, you've got a virtual camera. We we've been approached to do some really obscure things in the past and we've always been able to you know to pull through um, you know with flying colors so